Hello everyone, Big Man here. So today what I'm going to be teaching you in this video is how to make a really simple helicopter to be your first helicopter so that then you can develop it and make better and better vehicles. And uh, you guys are going to be following me along in this Stormworks Guide Conquest series thing where I will be taking you through how to play Stormworks in all its different areas through this Conquest series. So let's, uh, let's get into building our first heli and we're going to be building it here in the starter base. So first things first, so we're going to need to make a base for our helicopter. And by a base, I mean somewhere to put our engine and our pilot. Now, just make a simple base like this, and just get a seat. And we're going to put our compact pilot seat here. This is going to be the way that we control our helicopter, and pretty much all of our controls can be controlled from one seat. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an engine, if I can spell it right. Yes, I can. I'm just going to use a small engine because a lot of people think that actually for the small helicopters you need a medium engine. That's not true at all. You just need a small engine and just need to make sure that you don't waste power. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a, uh, not a gearbox, just a pipe. Pull that up and we're going to, at whatever point you want, I'm going to put this point here, we're going to put a T. Now one of these has to be facing upwards and the other one has to be facing backwards. Now this back one, this is going to go and extend outwards, so just extend that out there, it doesn't matter how far, I'm going to put that to there, and we're going to type in rotor, and just get a tail rotor. Um, I am going to put it on this side here. Hi everyone, uh, editing big man here. I'm a dumbass, <laughs> it should be going facing the other way. Next I'm going to get a gearbox. And we're just going to put a gearbox facing towards the engine. So that way it multiplies the RPS and decreases the torque to our rotor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend the pipe a bit more. And we're going to get another rotor. So type in rotor again. And we're just going to look for rotor small. I'm going to place that on top. And as you can see, these fit perfectly within the workbench. Slightly outside, but that's okay. Now, place it down. You'll notice that... On this here, we have five arrows. We have an arrow facing forwards, a big one, and then we've got positive and negative axes. So the one that is facing forward, relative to the big arrow, that is our pitch. This one here, this is our roll, and then our yaw, so our left and right, is going to be controlled by this one here. And then the collective is going to be controlled by the big rotor itself. Now, for blade pitch, we need to have this at neutral. You can put it at positive, in which case you want your gyros collective to control your engine, but that's just mechanically and logically complicated and not very practical. I'm going to put three blades on my helicopter and I'm going to reduce the blade size to 0% because I just want a small helicopter. Um, I might increase it actually to maybe 20%. Yep, 20, not 19 because that's not a nice number. And there we go. Now what you guys can do is uh, just hook up your engine to some fuel, some coolant, an exhaust, and air. Uh, it does not matter how you do it, I'm going to skip through this and I'll meet you guys when I've done it myself. I would also recommend putting in a battery somewhere. Um, and I recommend doing this not because you need a battery, you do need a battery, but I'm doing this because it is a practical build for me as well as something for you guys because this is going to be part of the Stormwind's guide and we're going to be developing this obviously as I said in the intro. Okay so now that you've got an engine, a seat, uh, propellers and a gearbox, what we're going to do is firstly configure the gearbox. I typically go for a 2 to 1 ratio on my engines for helicopters. It, this is one of those things where you do have to test things and I, I, I apologize I know testing is not fun I hate it as well every person hates the testing because it's the most boring bit it's just a repetitive cycle but you have to do it if you want to find the most efficient and the best version of your aircraft so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be getting a gyro so just type that in g-y-r-o so what this gyro does, and uh, if you just, I'm just going to place it down here and just get rid of my exhaust momentarily, and um, I'm just going to replace that there. And so what this gyro does is when turned on, it stabilizes your helicopter. By stabilizes, it says, hmm, ideally we would be sitting still. So I'm going to 
correct the helicopter to make sure that we are sitting still. Doesn't do it perfectly, obviously, but that's just how it is. So gyro auto hover, we're going to put that to one on our seat and we're just going to name that there. So hotkey number one on toggle, let's call it gyro. We have stabilized pitch up, down your roll. You can choose which way you want to control the, the helicopter from the seat. Um, but in terms of the outputs, the roll will always go to the roll. The yaw will always go to the tail rotor. The pitch will always go up to the pitch. The stabilized up down will always go to the collective. The more common standard is WS goes to your pitch. So find your pitch. The A and D goes to the roll. Left and right goes to the yaw and up down goes to the up down this is more common standards more more used and it's generally better it also means that if you want someone to use your helicopter they can use it if they know the standard all right now what we're going to do is we're just going to get a throttle lever and we're just going to put that down for temporary engine control you're going to get a push button as well again temporary engine control i'm going to probably just fix this up off camera I'm going to put, um, I'm just going to put my fan to number two and I'm just going to set that up. So fan, obviously this is going to depend on your own engine setup. If you use modular engine, you'll have a modular engine controller, hopefully. And then we have the electricity. So electricity, the gyro does require electricity. The rotors do not themselves because technically in a real helicopter, rotors are mechanical. Okay, so we've got our electricity hooked up here. Again, this is a very basic aircraft. Just gonna make sure our throttle's at a zero to one. Awesome. That is going directly to our engine. I'm gonna limp my engine to 16 RPS for now. Again, could change. All right, excuse the very unusual looking helicopter and float situation. This is just because the center of mass is currently where the fuel tank is and I need the floats to be spread out around said center of mass. That is just how floats operate. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hop into our seat, hopefully not tip over. I'm gonna hit one and two. I'm also going to make sure that our uh, circuit breaker is on and hopefully I will not to flip the helicopter. Put our throw lever up, hit start. I've decided that this rotor is too big. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to get another rotor. Um, I'm going to use a small rotor end. And arrows facing the same way. Just going to put that to neutral, extend the sides out. This looks very dinky and very stupid, but it will work. Okay, so I've got my rotor the wrong way, and I can tell that because my uh, helicopter is trying to correct it and is making it worse. And I'm going to get motion sickness. Oh, that was a very bad idea. Okay, so here we go. Again, the rotor's just been changed. Um, because this is a very, very small hangar, and ideally we would be in a place that we don't have to spawn it in such a cramped spot. There we go. As you can see, I'm now controlling this. It's very stabilized. Could be worse, could be better. It's a first helicopter for you guys. We have a stabilized helicopter. Now this is, this is really good, you know, we can go and park it wherever we want, and I'm just going to put it on the mainland here. It is affected by wind, um, because it is a very lightweight thing, and keep that in mind with helicopters, the heavier you make them, the less they're affected by wind, but generally the more fuel they burn because they are heavier. So we're just going to turn the engine off there, turn our gyro and fan off. Um, and as you can see, as soon as I turned the gyro off, it moved a little bit. That is again, oh goodness, that was close. Uh, that is just because the gyro is always stabilizing while it is on. But that's pretty much it. That's how you make a uh, helicopter, very basic helicopter. Um, I'm going to pretty this up in the meantime between episodes. And next time, I guess we'll cover maybe different types of helicopters and maybe even autopilots and stuff like that so thank you for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed this little episode and i'll see you in the next one goodbye